Hi, my name's David. I have a passion for anything to do with the Napoleonic period. Today I'm at Harwich at the Napoleonic Fort or Redoubt. Over there is Harwich Harbour and the International Port where you can get your ferry over to Harwich. As you can see, it's way up high. Now this always had been a hill here and where the fort now has is used to be the road to London, but they moved it to the to the bottom here. Just where the road goes down there. So that's a new road. Previously this used to be called there used to be a hill house on top of this for the hill. And you go up this very steep hill. And so and then we have the fort itself. Sorry about the thing. Built in about 1808 to 1810. This fort is open from in May to September, from Thursday to Sunday. And over the winter, it's just open over the weekends. This is the moat. It's always been a dry moat, but it had been a, another six, six feet deeper. When this came out of commission, it became just a rubbish dump and just full of rubbish. Now this that we're walking on here was a drawbridge or a half drawbridge. It would have been like a seesaw. If you look under here, You can see slightly an indentation where the piece of drawbridge would have gone down there. We have the big hole, if you can see it down there, where you would have held the support. Then we go into the fort itself. Now I've got um, yeah we've got the Bofors gun nineteen Had the person in the seat there, and one handle to rotate it around, and then you had somebody standing in this, and you'd have taken the shells out of the back here. So it'd been quite a few in, involved in. working this. So you got again you've got one that this one elevated. Use that to elevate the the gun. And another person again inside that melt casing to do the Taking the shells up. Now, yeah. the names on here, like Bathside and stuff, they're original names. Nobody's sure what they were, so they're just there so that people know where to go. They'd say muster at Bathside or whatever. And down here we've got this is when the old and older guns were rotated on this. metal frame to move them about. Not for the Beaufort's gun, but for earlier guns. Here we have a part of a tail end of 
of a rocket, Second World War. And there we have a little slideshow. These were at the end of the Second World War, and it became the, the scientists who worked on this were then taken from Germany to America to be, become part of the space program. V2 rocket. Exploded over Harwich. So this is Harwich Napoleonic Fort or Redoubt. Here we have just restoring a mobile anti tank. Um, eight nineteen sixties. Nowadays you have these shoulder ones where they're just on the shoulder, but in those days they would have been like this. Let's go up the stairs. Look at the view from over here. As you can see, it's a great line of fire across all the area here. And then you have the opening of the estuary there and Felixstowe port over there. So it commanded the whole area. Shaky, and I'd step down. This one's called Tate Road, whatever that meant to anybody. It must have been significant. And this is the entrance downstairs. We'll go to that on another video because this is a circular fort, as you can see. Downstairs they've got lots of little rooms and at the moment they've got different objects from first, second world war and local history exhibits. And the names of these over the doors are just of people of local origin, they're not the original. Names for anything. Now these brackets on the side here that's holding these poles. They would have held the, the things to clean the gun. So a big gun, we'll see one over there in a minute, would have had to be cleaned out each time it was shot. And there was all been these poles for cleaning it, pushing down the rammers, pushing down the, the shells and such like. And this one, a bit undercover at the moment, they're working on it. comes from 1790s, 1810, 1820 I mean, smooth bore. This one comes from 
Nelson's, one of Nelson's ships. So it's a French name, like La Fontaine or something. But there you have it. They're just working on it at the moment. So it's a, this one comes from Portsmouth, they lent it to the, this is run by the Harwich Society, not the National Trust or anybody like that. Here we got an exhibition of some soldiers in combat. Two pounder quick firing pedestal, 1916. This was used from 1810s up until sort of the 1950s, 60s, when it was decommissioned and it just became a There you can see the ferry going out on its way to Holland. And there you've got Harwich, uh, I'm sorry, Felixstowe Port, one of the biggest container ports in Europe. And over on that side, just the other side of those containers near the edge is another fort, Langard, and that was also a Napoleonic fort. And between the two of them, they would have dominated the whole estuary because in the day, Harwich was a big naval port. Though there's not much there now, it always has been a very big naval port. So let's have a look at this gun. Again, they're just trying to restore it. Again, there would be levers for elevation and rotation. Go down the stairs. Going wrong way round. Was it supposed to go backwards? That to hold the camera. I do it the other way round. No, I can do it. Actually. Yeah, there we go. Bit of a flag. Here we got a. Here we've got now, we've got a chairlift, but um, this used to be the officer's stairway. And now we've just got it as a chairlift and there's some pictures going down the rail. So I might do a picture of going down there. chairlift later if anybody wants to see but we've just got pictures there now over here we've got Street. Yeah. 
this side. You can see these little places where things have been brought up and down through trap doors on here. And you've got winches like that over there on the side where the ammunition was stored down below. I'll show you those in another video. It was brought up by those winches up to the guns here as and when they're needed. Here we've got a Gilbert gun. It would be in 1850s, 1860s, this one. And this would be in the the last of the big guns that were used here. If we look in the front, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but there is some rifling on the side there, indentations to make the shot be more accurate. And there is the type of shell used. 1860, 1870. They would have had these indentations on the shells. So it would make it shoot much more accurately. And as you can see on there, it was actually buried in the moat and they think there might be some Three or four more actually in the moat. So we've got a number of guns from different periods. Yeah, we've got some more little cannons. Again, we've got those where they've held all the the long tubes to. A that one's 1790, 1815, English four pounder. There you've got the touch where the pet would have gone. You lit that there to make the explosion happen. And then one and a half pounder, 1750 to 1780, so that's a bit. A bit earlier, these would have probably been ships, cannons. These two go up here. Have a look at the view of Harwich. house and the church. Now in the day these trees wouldn't have been here, they would have been a complete barrenness. There's the low lighthouse over there, there's a new museum now. And then we go out again. Low lighthouse is now a little museum. And the high lighthouse, you can go in there and walk to the top. I think it's only open on certain days of the week. I think it's only Sundays or something. Over the other side, there's Shotley. There is a, a ferry that goes from this side to that side. I'll conclude it this video now, and we'll 
continue next week. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.